Let's talk about what makes your beard hair lay down. Number one, you can't trim your way to a big beard. Remember that. You can't trim your way to a big beard. I'll say to people, what is your beard goal? Who sit in my chair? They point to me. Then I'm like, well, what are you doing here? You need to go away for three months, then come back. We'll put a little bit of a shape in it. I made all the mistakes so you don't have to. I'm the top beard stylist in the world right now. And I probably have had my hands in and have combed and brushed and cut more beards than anyone that I know. So I have a little bit of experience. It's not just an opinion about things. It's an experience. But let's just take a look at something here. I got a brush. Usually when I'm done cutting people's hair, you know, I, I brush. It's a whisk broom. Basically made out of palm. That's what it is. I love this. Look at this. Look at the bristles. They're straight, right? They're stiff. If, if these bristles were, let me back up here, were this long, do you think they'd be straight like that? No, they'd start to, they'd go, because the weight would bring them down. So while it's short, it's stiff, which gives it its whisking, brushing power. When we take a look at the average boar bristle brush. This is just like your cheapo $5 Walmart brush that I freaking love. What if these bristles were out, were this long? They'd be like, like that. So here's the deal. What makes your hair lay down? Length, time and length. A year ago, I was telling you time and length. Now I'm not selling anything here. And I have nothing against people who are selling, who are in business. I buy a lot of product. I have a lot of product sent to me. Uh, right now, this is just out of bed. Here I am Sunday morning, threw on a cap. This is the t-shirt that I slept in. I get up before I do this video. I just kind of go like this. That's it. See this? Like I just go like this. My beard is soft here, here, here under here look at my adam's apple all right my hair is it's long it goes from like i don't trim anything underneath here it goes from here all the way to the end and it flows it's soft all the way around if i went and got this trimmed like took the clippers and went down that way and just kind of did one of these things or kind of cheese wedged it kind of like at this angle then i'm going to get this the prickly stuff I'm done with prickly. That's why I say, if you go natural, you're always soft. Now, it's not a humid day today. The beard is soft. I mean, it's still beard bristles. I mean, it's not silk. Let's get real. But if I take one of these hairs and yank it out, like for instance, if I took out, let's say like a one inch beard hair, it will stick straight out for one inch, okay? If I yank out a whole, like one of these really long hairs, it's going to go, it bends down. So what happens is gravity takes its effect on your beard. You will never know the natural beauty of your beard until you stop friggin' trimming it. Stop. Enough. Stop. No more trimming. Stop. Now with the stash, I got to trim the stash because I got to eat and I'm just tired of tired of the, the hair coming down into my mouth. That's just me. It's a personal preference. There's no right or wrong. Now, as far as the beard, it's a low humidity day today in Philadelphia. All right, sometimes I'll just put like a little scrunchy thing on the bottom or I'll put a little beard ring, but I, ne I never want to like ruin the hair. I don't want to do that. So I kind of like my beard natural. Now I am without product right now. If it was a wacky humid day, I would take... Uh, styling Bomb by Beard Brand, which I love. Thank you, Eric. Love this product. It's my favorite, favorite hold product. I don't use a lot. Now watch. If it was a humid day and very, um, like a frizzy day, you know, the curly hair girls talk about July and August days where it's all frizzy. Watch. This would keep 
keep the, the crazy hairs in. Go from the sideburns on down. Stash. I'm not handlebarring right now at this particular stage of my beard. I go from handlebarring to not. Let me just... Uh, like, you never want to use a wooden comb when you put in styling balm. Beard oil, yes. Maybe... No, no beard balm. Forget the beard balm. Oil, yes. Anything like a styling balm or a beard balm will jack up your wooden comb. Don't do that. You'll ruin it. So, I use a detangler brush. Uh, super soft bristles. You can see it's all filled with white hair. And I will just smooth that bad boy right out. See that? So when I go out at night and I want a more predictable look, and if the weather is perfect, this is what I want. Now, I wore a black t-shirt specifically. This is what I slept in last night. So you can see the shape of the beard. It's more natural. I've been opting for a more natural look. So if you want a long beard, if you want a beard that lays down, like for instance, this side of my face, the hair grows up and in a swirl, okay? All the trimming and all the product in the world is not going to get it to lay down. You can blow dry, you can flat iron, and you're going to ruin your hair if you put thermal tools on it. And if you blow dry, only use warm and cool, never use hot. <clears throat> Length and time creates this. You can't trim your way to a big beard. So, right now, if I never trimmed this beard and only trimmed the mustache, the beard would kind of come down almost like to a... Let me back up. To like a wispy... Point. So if I never touched my beard, it would probably be, it would be about down to here, probably. But I've trimmed it so much, and I kind of like the shape, whatever. And I don't like it when it starts to get very see-through-y. That's me. That's my personal preference. It's not right or wrong. So remember, uh, much of what you hear in my beard and mustache tutorials are opinions, and I, I will tell you when something is an opinion, and I will tell you when something is a fact. Okay? That's where I'm coming from. So I have nothing to sell. I've got nothing to gain except followers, subscribers, clients in my chair. And it's been kind of a service to the beard community, whatever the heck that means. Um, but it does keep a lot of guys awake at night. Now, I like my big old white beard. I dig it. But I want it to go in the direction that I want it to go in. And the only way that that, that has happened is through length, period. Length, patience, patience, patience. I started making these videos for one reason, and that was to give my bearded male clients a place to go, a source for facial hair data, rather than answering the same question 9,000 times. So I would encourage you to look at the Beard and Mustache Tutorials playlist on the Gray Bailey channel, and you'll see 150 videos on beards. I can't even believe I've made that many videos. It's like, how many times can you teach about beards and mustaches, honestly? I mean, how? what else? Is there, like, some new knowledge? Is a spaceship going to land and give us, like, golden tablets to have new knowledge of how to trim a beard, how to groom a beard. I think I've said it all. I think I've done it all. So I just keep referring you back, keep referring you back, keep referring you back, rather than giving you leftovers all the time. So I shared some of my journey. When I first started these videos, the beard was about here. And then it just kind of grew down, and it got really long, and then I trimmed four inches off of it. And it's been a fun journey. But one thing that I have found is the beard that I have now is really the result of, honestly, just time, letting it go. You will never, ever experience the true beauty that you have. It's weird to say beauty when I'm talking to guys, but you know what I'm talking about. The beauty of your beard, the handsomeness of your beard does not get revealed until you let it grow and let it flow. You can't trim your way to a big beard. You can't balm your way to a big beard. Let it go, guys. Let it go. It's going to be beautiful.
Take my word for it. It will. You're going to love it. I hope that helps. Grow it out. If this is your goal, grow it out. Don't keep jacking it up and trimming it on the way to your goal. Just grow it out and then sit in someone's chair who's got a little bit of wisdom. Uh, you want this hair to grow all the way down to here. If you have really stiff hair and you end up with like a super wide beard like that, then only length is going to pull it down. You need length to do that. If you're in an area, like for instance, if you have a super long beard and you work the kind of job where people look at you a little bit like, you know, what the hell's up with the beard? Then maybe it's not neat enough. Maybe you need to use a little more styling balm. Now, when I put on a suit and tie, because I keep the stash and the beard looking great, I stand out wherever I go. I attract people all the time. This is kind of like my business card. This helps me get business. It's a good thing. I like it. It has helped me as far as business is concerned. As far as other areas are concerned, I will say uh, you already know what my thoughts on that are. Let it grow. Let it flow. Release the obsession. Release the compulsion. It's going to develop patience. Go back and watch all the old beard care videos. They're going to help you. I hope that helps.